Fordham and GW in the Rose Hill gym on Kids Day. Samantha Clark going to get the Fordham offense going early. She gets her own rebound on the missed shot, puts it in, puts Fordham on the board. 2 nothing on their first offensive possession. A couple plays later, the Rams on defense. Now Aaron Rooney going to come up with the steal. She finds Strickland coming down the left side. Strickland's going to throw this one down, putting the Rams up 6 nothing to start the game. GW's going to get on the board, but here comes Fordham once again. This jumper from just inside the three-point line for Rooney's good. That starts an 11-0 run for the Rams a couple plays later. Rooney going to nail this one from the elbow. 15-footers good for the New Zealand native. Now on the defensive end, Fordham holding GW just 29% in the first half. And here comes the Fordham attack. Rooney going to find Collins on the left wing. That one's good. Ace Collins, big day. 4-7 from three. 15 points for the New Jersey product. This time, Rooney's going to draw three on the post, but she has Mara Strickland wide open from the three for the top of the key. Strickland, big first half, 11 points, four assists. Rooney going to find Corning on this one. Corning, two or three on the day from beyond the arc. Big day for Abigail Corning. She had 14. This one now, Ace Collins is going to hit another three. Big day for Ace. She's averaging 15 points a game over her last five outings. This one here comes Fordham on the fast break. Collins going to find Rooney. Rooney, that one, never in doubt. She nails a three, puts Fordham up 33-9. to Big first half for Mara Strickland, as we said before, with 11 points. She finished the game with a game-high 16, and Fordham heads into the break with a 43-23 advantage. GW going to make a little run to start the second half, gets it down to 13, but who else but Ace Collins. She nails that one, puts Fordham back ahead by 16, Essentially putting this one out of reach for GW. Now on defense, Ace is going to pick up the steal, and she finds Strickland on the right wing for three. That one's good. Fordham comes out on top, 66-56. Here's Coach Gately. Coach, you said all the time last year that the team last year didn't really know how to win. This team comes out after a loss to Dayton, really dominates in the first half. What were your thoughts on that first half? And as, I, as you know, Andrew, I turned to the – I said, I didn't expect this. You know, we just came out – you know, shooting the ball really well, playing really good defense. I thought we totally took GW out of their game plan. And, and again, I think the kids did a great job, you know, setting the tone really, really early. And I think, you know, the end of the game, I think, was a result of we built a big lead. And I think we're tired. I mean, we, we played a, you know, emotional game on Sunday night and then had to come back and play a noon game. And then, you know, we have a day off tomorrow. But I think the most important thing is just get some rest and get ready. What is a game like this where you're coming on short rest? You got, you got to come in here. What does it mean looking forward for the rest of the season? that you were able to come here and get a win like this? Well, I think for the kids, it's just being able to play back to back wins. I mean, when you're playing the conference tournament, you're going to have to put a couple games together. And so I think we responded from a you know, disappointing loss to Dayton, even though I thought we left it all out there. I thought the kids played really, really hard. And I thought we beat a very good GW team who was really, really hot. So I'm, I'm you know, overall really, really proud of the team. A couple of really impressive individual performances out there. Aaron Rooney, one assist shy of a double-double. What did you see from her, especially in the first half? She had 11 and 6. I mean, she was steady. I mean, when you look at the start, you look at the lineup, and we have four kids in double figures, and Sam only two points away from it. And I thought Ace did a great job handling the ball and handling the pressure. I think she just has been playing so well and has a lot to do with our success. So, you know, Erin came to me this morning, wasn't feeling well. I think she responded really, really well to the challenge. You talked about Ace's success. In the last five games, she's averaging over 15 points a game, shooting well over 50% in the area, 60. What has been going so well for her? this five-game stretch? Well, I mean, like I said to Ace before the game, like number 12 last year, you know, was a kid that kind of had her way with us last year. And, and I think, you know, Ace Ace is one of the best point guards in the conference, and I don't think she even realizes that. And I think it's starting to come to her to realize that, you know what, I can play with anybody, and I can be really, really successful. And I think she has a lot to do with why we're being really successful right now. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good win.